Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about finding the power of a quotient. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Okay, so again, if we're thinking power, we're thinking exponents and quotient, and well, we got some division going on here. So let's go through a quick example here to get some groundwork. If we have e, let me zoom in a little, to the negative 2 power, f squared all to the seventh power okay so if we look from um, our previous example we know that this result really comes down to we kind of talked about that all right we distributed out the seven and we got really e to the negative 14 power times f to the positive 14th power and that ended up simplifying going quickly through it f to the 14th power over e to the positive 14th power, okay? So they kind of, we went over that in the previous example, okay? So one thing we actually could do, though, if we see it down here ahead of time, is what if we broke it down right here, right? We know that that negative exponent, deal with the inside the parentheses first, would have been f squared over e to the positive 2 power, all to the 7th power. And then what we can do is we can now distribute, right, quote-unquote distribute, the exponent to the numerator and the denominator exponent. Same rules apply. We multiply them. 2 times 7 is 14. So we have f to the 14th power over 2 times 7 again, 14, e to the 14th power. And we can see that these two results are the same. Okay, so this is really what this rule is telling us here. They tell us that the power of a quotient rule of exponents is for any real numbers a and b and any integer n, the power of a quotient rule of exponents states that a over b to the n power is equal to a to the n over b to the n. Okay? And we have our little rule here telling us that. So let's apply this rule and solve some problems. Let's learn by doing. So let's go with a. We have 4 over z to the 11th power all to the third power. Well, our rule states that we can, in a sense, distribute that third power to both the numerator and denominator. So we have 4 to the third here. Remember, we multiplied the exponents. There's like a 1 there. 1 times 3 is 3. And we have z to the 11 times 3, which hopefully by now you can get through that. It's 4 to the third over z to the 33rd power. Okay? And 4 to the third is 64. And we have our answer. 64 with a bad z to the 33rd power. Let's go through another example. Let's go through with b. Let me mark this off here. b. b is p over q. They love the p's and q's. All to the sixth, uh, oh, q to the third power. And all that's to the sixth power. Again, let's use our rules. The six multiplies by the one, which is the exponent for p, and that's p to the sixth power. Multiply the exponents down the denominator, okay, or let's distribute it first. Q to the third to the sixth power. Well, three times six we know is, uh, well, let's multiply it out here. P to the sixth, we'll show a little more steps, Sean. And that's Q to the three times six, our rules here. And then P to the sixth over Q to the 18, right? And there we have our answer. P to the sixth over Q to the 18. Let's go with C. And of course, pause this video once I write it and see if you can solve it first. Negative 1 over t squared, all to the 27th power. All right, pause it, see if you can solve it, and then we'll get back into it. All right, let's go. So we're exponent, right? Numerator and denominator. So negative 1 to the 27th power over t squared to the 27th power, okay? Well, negative 1 to the 27th power, that's negative 1 times itself, 
27 times. Since this is an odd power, it's still going to stay negative, and so we just have negative 1 here. Remember, 1 times itself is just 1, right? The denominator, that's t to the 2 times 27, and 2 times 27 is 54. So we have negative 1 over t to the 54th power. Let's go with d here. Now d is j to the third, k to the negative two power, all to the fourth, okay? Now we know that with a negative exponent, right, we can make it positive by going to the denominator. So we have, oops, let's, let's make a j here, j to the third over k to the positive two power, all to the fourth power. Now we use the power of a quotient, multiply it out, that's j to the 3 times 4 power over k to the 2 times 4 power. Simplify, 3 times 4 is 12, we have j to the 12th power, over k to the 2 times 4, which is 8, k to the 8th power. And there we have our answer, not too bad. We got one more for you, e. e is m to the negative 2 power n to the negative 2 power, all to the third power. Well, we have negative exponents already there inside the parentheses. We know we need to bring that down to the denominator. So let's do that first. So now we have big parentheses, 1 over m squared n squared, all to the third power. Break it out here. Just use the power of a quotient rule. We have 1 to the third power over m. How do I write this? Oh, let's do it like this, m squared, n squared, show all of our steps to the third power. Now we know one to the third power is just one, and we multiply that third power to both parts on the inside. So we have m to the two times three, times n to the two times three, and two times three is six. So we have one over m to the sixth power times n to the sixth power. And there we have our answer. So. I hope you learned something from this lesson. If you do, hit the like button and let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe. This lets us make more videos to help you. And as always, thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com.